day. My name is Elijah Vincent Escalada, and I am here to present Group 2's Jamboard presentation about measurements. Measurements is the quantification of attributes of an object or event, which can be used to compare with other objects or events. In other words, Measurement is a process of determining how large or small a physical quantity is compared to a basic reference quantity of the same kind. We use three systems in measurements. In the International System of Units or SI units, the British Imperial System, and the US Customary System. Units, it is used to quantify data. Expressing collected data with units and significant figures. Conversion factor. Conversion factor is a ratio of equivalent quantities used to express a quantity in different units. Dimensional analysis is used to convert one unit to another. Dimensional analysis, also known as factor label method. It uses a conversion factor, a fraction as numerator and denominator, are the same quantity expressed in different units. To get the desired quantity, we have to multiply the given quantity to the conversion factor. Prefixes. Prefixes are used to dictate the number of given element present in the compound. Mono indicates one, Di indicates 2, Tri indicates 3, Tetra is 4, Penta is 5, Hexa is 6, Hepta is 7, Octa for 8, Nona for 9, and Deca for 10. Basic units of measurement or the SI base units are the standard units of measurement defined by the International System of Units. For the seven base quantities of what is now known as the International System of Quantities, they are notably the basic set from which all other SI units can be derived. The units and their physical quantities are the second for time, the meter for length or distance, the kilogram for mass, the ampere for electric current, the Kelvin for thermodynamic temperature, the mole for the amount of substance, and candela for luminous intensity. Significant figures are the number of digits in a value, often a measurement, that contribute to the degree of accuracy of the value. We start counting significant figures at the first non-zero digit. Mass. It is the quantity of a matter in a physical body. It's a constant for a body and does not change with location. Anywhere in the physical universe. And mass is also a scalar quantity. Scalar quantity means are the quantities that are unaffected by changes to a vector space basis. And, vector, and scalar quantities only has magnitude. Density. Density is the ratio of the mass of an object to its volume. Its formula is density equals mass over volume. Volume is the amount of three-dimensional space a substance or object occupies. Volume is length in meters cubed. Temperature. Determines the intensity of the energy of the particles inside a subject where the heat can flow. It has four, di it has four different temperature systems. Celsius, Fahrenheit, Kelvin, and Rankine. Utilized depending on the scales needed. Temperature scales. Systems for measuring temperature. Defined by choosing two reference points and a setting a fixed number of degrees between them. There are three main scales commonly used in the world today to measure the temperature. The Fahrenheit, Celsius, and the Kelvin scales. Kelvin scales is an absolute thermodynamic temperature scale, meaning it uses zero at its 
as its null point. Scientific notation is a way of expressing numbers that are too large or too small to be conveniently written in decimal form. Accuracy and precision. Accuracy is defined as the closeness of a result to a true value. This can be applied to a single measurement, but is more commonly applied to the mean value of several repeated measurements or replicates. Precision. Precision is defined as the extent to which results agree with one another. In other words, it is a measure of consistency and is usually evaluated in terms of the range or spread of the results. Practically, this means that precision is inherently related to the standard deviation of repeated measurements. Random errors. This caused by unknown and unpredictable changes in the experiment. These changes may occur in the measuring instruments or the environmental conditions. Systematic error usually comes from the measuring instruments. This may occur because there is something wrong with the instrument or its data handling system, or because the instrument is wrongly used by the experimenter. That is all for the group two's presentation of measurement. Thank you.